Hello everyone! In the previous video I told you that during my spring vacation I went to Hiroshima and Miyajima. Many of you know Hiroshima, I guess, because of the atomic bomb, while Miyajima is an island very close to Hiroshima. If you want to visit Hiroshima, I think one day is enough, because all the monuments, especially those related to the atomic bomb, are close to each other in the Peace Memorial Park. I liked very much the museum, it was very interesting, there were many objects with the stories of victims of the atomic bomb. I could not observe very well the Genbaku Dom, which is a building that survived the atomic bomb, because it was under construction, I was not very lucky, but I liked it. Then I liked a temple called Mitaki, it was very beautiful, and the Hiroshima Castle. To visit all these things one day is absolutely fine. I stayed one day in Miyajima, which is a beautiful island, immersed in nature, full of tears, very cute tears. You can reach Miyajima by ferry in about 15 minutes, so it's very close to Hiroshima. I went up a mountain called Misen, if you reach the top, there's a fantastic view. Miyajima is also famous for a shrine called Itsukushima and for a tori. What is a tori? A tori is a sort of door which separates uh, humans from God. And uh, this tori is famous because it's very, very big and uh, it's in water. When the tide is high, you cannot uh, observe this tori closely, but uh, if the sea does not reach the tori, you can go closer and uh, observe it properly. It's very beautiful. And I like it especially at night. So this video was about what I saw in Hiroshima and Miyajima. I spent three wonderful days. We spent three mm -hmm. wonderful days. And in the next video, I want to talk about what I ate in Hiroshima and Miyajima. We had some problems and I really want to talk about it, but this topic deserves a video apart. So I hope you will watch it and thank you for watching this video. I really hope it was interesting and that you will visit Hiroshima and Miyajima in the future if you haven't yet. So thank you for listening. Bye.